Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to host your own website on your EC2 server. So I have my website folder and the files on my local computer which is right here. And when I open that folder I have my index and all the CSS, JS and files that goes with this website. So I'll just launch this website now just for you to see and you can tell that I'm launching it from my local because it's showing the address over here. So now I want to get all these files on my EC2 server to be able to launch it. I downloaded this just to give him credit. I downloaded this website from this guy's um, web page. He has a bunch of websites over here that you can use as an example to follow along. I will include the link to his website on the description. So you can go download any of this template just to follow on with this example. So I have my website folder here with all my files in it. The first step I need to do is zip this file. So this zip this folder. So I'm going to click send to zip and zip it. So now I have my zip folder in here. So just I want you to take notice of something when I click on my zip folder. Notice that I have another folder in there, which is called velocity. And in there is where in that velocity folder is where my files are located. So we have two, two folders. So we have one, which is the zip and another one, which is the main folder with all our files. So just keep that in mind. Um, so the next thing we are going to do is go into the management console and on that service S3. Then we are going to create a bucket and upload that zip folder into that bucket. So click create a bucket and I'm just going to give it a name, uh, my web server one, two, three, four, five. So I just create any name web, web server one, two, three, four, five. All my settings is going to be default. So I'm just going to create and uh, click create. So I click, leave it on that region and click create. So I have my web web server bucket. So open that bucket and I'm going to upload my zip folder into it. So select my velocity zip folder and open and upload. So I've uploaded into it. The next thing we have to do is make that bucket and the object in the bucket public. So go back to my bucket, select it over here, public, edit public access setting. Click that. Make sure this is on check. Click save over here and in here type confirm. Click OK. So the next thing we are going to do is go into that bucket, click the velocity and open. I mean, click it, not open, but on that action, you want to click make public and click confirm here and we've made it public and we can tell that it is public because when we open it and when I click open, it's downloading to my local computer. So that means that um, object, that folder is public. Good. So that's the first step. So the next step is we want to launch our EC2 instance. So we'll go to service on that compute EC2 and running, um, I'm just going to launch an instance. And I'm just going to select the Amazon Linux 2 and T2 Micro. So everything is going to be default. So just click next, add that storage. For the tag, we can just um, add a name and I'll call it um, Velo City and create my security group. So for the security group, I already have an existing one, but we can create a new one. So the first one we need is an SSH. So that is already created for us. The next one we need is we can add a HTTP. So HTTP and from, we can add it from, our source can be IPv4 and IPv6. So we'll leave it as that and click launch, review and launch, review everything, launch, choose a key pair, so I already have a key pair. I'll choose the existing one and launch my instance. So I'll wait for my instance to launch. 
then we can move on to the next step. So now that our EC2 instance is running, first thing we need to do is select it and under the IPv4 public IP, copy the, your IP address, your public IP address into your clipboard. Then the next thing we need to do is SSH into our EC2 instance. So I'm using window and I'm going to use Podi. So I have Podi open. The first thing I would do is in under the session, type in um, EC2, EC2 iPhone user at and copy, paste your public IP address that you copy in there. And I uh, let me change my font so everything is bigger. So in here, you can pick which fonts you want. You can print the font type. I'm just going to increase it to 14 so you can see it clearer on the screen and click OK. Then on that SSH, click SSH, click the drop down and on that the up, I'm going to browse to where I save my key pair. So I'm going to select this key pair because you can see this is the same key pair that I'm using for my EC2 instance. Open it just to show you everything is complete. So we have EC2 user at our public IP address, we already added our key pair and click open. You get this option, click yes. So now I am in my EC2 instance. So the first thing I will do is type um, sudo su and that would change my, change it to root. The next thing I would do is update my EC2 instance. So I click um, type in yum update minus y click enter and that's going to install the patches and update my ec2 instance um, let me increase this so you can see and once that is completed then we can move on um just give it a second good that's complete so i can clear my screen so I type in clear to clear my screen. The next thing we are going to do is install Apache. So we would type in uh, yum install install httpd minus y and type enter. And that's installing Apache. And now to know what directory directory you are in, you can type in pwd, and that's telling you that you are in the home EC2 user directory. So to change directory, you use the cd command. So to go into our h um, var dub 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 directory, all we have to do is type in cd. Cd stands for change directory. Cd um, var dot 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 slash uh, forward slash html so now we are in this directory and when i type in ls just to show us in the directory the directory is empty so we make sure you are in your bad dot 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 html directory and type in ls there's nothing in there and now what we have to do now is copy the zip folder for our web our website that is on our s3 bucket into our ec2 instance to do that you type in w get space then go back to your um management console and i'm going to open this on a new tab and i will go to my s3 bucket and open that bucket open that folder so just copy the object URL over here. So select it and click copy. Then I'll go back into body. And so type in wget space and paste that object URL in here and click enter. And that has downloaded the zip file. So the next thing we want to do, if I type in ls, you can see the velocity zip file in there. The next thing I want to do is unzip this zip file so that we can access the files in it. So to unzip it, all you type is 
on zip then you type the folder name so we type velocity and mine has a capital letter so you have to type it exactly as it how it is velocity velocity um, dot zip so that's what you type whatever your folder name is you type everything whatever this red thing is that's what you type here so we'll type that and click enter and now it has unzip our file and you can see all the files in our folder here so we can type in ls and we can see the unzip one over here so the next thing we need to do is move all the files that are in that zip files subfolder into our var dub 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 directory so i hope that makes sense so let me so if i go back to my um, desktop just to show you what i mean so we have this zip folder when i click it there is this folder in there and this folder is the same as this blue one so now the files we are trying to get to is in that folder so that's the next step we are trying to do so we are trying to move all this file into our var dub 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 directory so to do that, all you have to do is type in, type in MV, MV space, then the velocity with the capital V. I'm going to type the word as it is on the screen. Well, I'm making a mistake over there, velocity. And I'm going to press my forward slash. Then I'm going to press this sign that looks like the multiplication sign space and dot and press enter and now when i type in ls now you can see those files are in our directory that's exactly what you want so you want your html and all the files that comes with it in that directory so with that is everything the next thing we need to do and if we want to check out the directory we are in we can type in pwd and you can see we are in our var dub 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 html and our file is in that directory so the next thing we need to do is just that http so we type in service http d start and press enter so we've started our Apache. So now when we go into our EC2 instance and copy that um, IPv4 IP, public IP address copy, and I'm just going to close this list, open back up another tab, paste it in there, and press enter, and you can see our website. And it's working properly, everything is working fine. That is how you host your own website with all the folders on your ec2 instance i hope you find it helpful thank you and i will see you in the next one as i learn more thank you bye